Well, we showed you the beach. Now let's show you what it looks like in Greenville. The inland area is nothing but blue skies across the area for us this afternoon. But while since we've seen a nice, bright, sunny and not so humid day for us here, some may call it refreshing. Others may call it chilly. We've got those temperatures into the mid 50s to near 60 degrees already for us this afternoon. It's still a little bit of that east northeasterly wind putting a bit of a chill into the air. Positive side is though this morning is when we saw the stronger winds. Those winds will continue to drop as we head on in through this afternoon. Now this colder air has moved in place for us here. So let's take a look at one of those areas at the beaches as we go on through the day today. Again, lots of sunshine around water temperatures are into the 50s, kind of like where the air is right now. So we are going to continue to see that sunny sky and again already quite to see a few people out there at the beach will be mainly clear during the overnight hours. Now the high pressure is going to be right over us. clear skies, light winds. That's going to allow some of the deeper inland areas away from the water to get into the upper 30s. Uh, coastal areas will probably hold into the 40s sunshine around, but a few clouds do start to build in late tomorrow afternoon as we start to turn those winds around to that southeasterly direction. We'll just say partly cloudy skies at worst will be dry for the day tomorrow. Not the case though as we head into Wednesday as we start to get enough moisture in here ahead of our next weather maker. That's going to be a cold front coming in here. I think we'll see a few showers on and off throughout the late morning to mid afternoon hours. The stronger storms, though, I don't expect to really get going until probably after sunset developing inland and then making their way towards the coast. Now we will have to watch the timing of that may be in our favor, but there may be uh, enough ingredients in the atmosphere to have uh, to be on the lookout for severe weather. So we'll keep you alerted to that as we get closer to Thursday. Thursday is going to be one of those days. We'll start like at midnight with those temperatures in the 60s and watch those temperature plummet into the 50s as we head through later on in the afternoon. So there goes that high pressure offshore. You can kind of see that warm front lifting over us, giving us some of those scattered showers. Then we track that cold front coming through and yes, notice behind it that is snow in the mountains of West Virginia and Western Virginia. This is going to be a short, sharp cold shot coming our way, but we're going to be looking at temperatures by early Friday morning and Saturday morning at or below that freezing mark. So keep that in mind. If you got any tender plants out there, barely near 50 for a high on Friday, and then we warm up a little bit as we head into Easter weekend.